A week after racking up 91 points in a game, the Alito Bearcats return to the field tonight, this time on national TV. The number one Class 4A football team in the state looking to stay unbeaten and not be accused of bullying in the process. Fox Worth Calvert Collins joins us from Clark Stadium in Fort Worth. Okay, Calvert, was it competitive tonight? Well, I would say it's a, going to be a pretty decisive victory for Alito. The score with one minute left is 59 to 13 Alito, and Alito's about to get the ball back. It has been a battle of the bands, as you can hear going on behind me. But, you know, both sides of fans I talked to earlier hoped that this would be a competitive game down to the last snap. It's homecoming for the 5-2 and two home team, Southwest High School. But this turf war was equally about undefeated Alito, proving its talent and sportsmanship. And it's hard to watch these blowouts. It's not fun. <laughs> In the visitor stands, we back Buck. Fans wore T-shirts to support their coach, Tim Buchanan. I think he held his own really well in the spotlight. Alito's coach told Fox 4 he did everything he could not to score on the 0-6 Western Hills last Friday, but he wasn't going to ask his players to take a knee. He pulled his starters early to let the backups play and even went to a running clock. But the numbers didn't lie. 91 to nothing angered a Western Hills parent so much, a bullying complaint against Coach Buck was filed. And the coach was later cleared. Now we're just ready to prove that we're not a bullying football team, that we play a good game, that we come out and we are a, a sportsmanlike school, and that we play the best game that we can. The district blowout raised questions about should Alito play in this 4A district. And maybe they should be moving on to another district, you know, with somebody that can play at their level. Alito beat Southwest on this field last year. Loyal Raider fans believe the extra pressure on Alito pumps up their players. Oh, well, they like to be the underdog, and so I think that will give us a little advantage. We'll see what they say this time when they get beat. I hope they learn the lesson that uh, it's not shameful to do your best, even no matter what you do. I mean... There's people going to ridicule you for everything. But if you're doing your best, you don't have to apologize. So. Well, you can see both teams. Now the game is over, congratulating each other on a hard-fought game. In fact, both teams, really, we watched a lot of the game here, and uh, they really did, uh, both sides fought fought hard, really, until the last game, until the last play of the last uh, quarter. Alito did pull some of its starters early, but they wanted to make sure that these players did get repetitions even in the fourth quarter, and um, they bo both teams looked pretty good. But the final score, 59-13, to 13, that makes Alito 8-0, and, and that puts uh, Southwest at 5-3. and three.